so now for viewing the user detail information so let me just go into this view user and let me just go into this add user let me just copy this code from here so let me just type ctrl and c to copy and again go to the view user and let me just clear this div from here and let me just type ctrl and b to paste and we just need to close the div so just type slash div and slash div and slash div so let me just save this one so once this is done so we just need to change this register user into something like user details so just type user and just type details and inside here so we just need to make one more div for card so if i just see the application so you can see the user details so inside here i just want to make one more card so just type div and just type class name and just type card and inside here so we just need to make one more div for card header so just type div class name and just type card header and inside the card header so let me just type something like details details of user and id and we will be giving the user id inside here and similarly so let me just make one unordered list so for that just type ul and class name and inside here let me just type list group and just type list group plus and inside here so we just need to add the list group item so basically we will be displaying all the details inside here so for that just type list and just type class name and inside here so we just need to type list and hyphen and so just type group and just type item so just type item and inside here the first one will be name so just type bold name so just type bold name and here so we will be writing the user dot name so later when we use the xs so similarly let me just copy this one from here and let me just paste it twice and let me just change this into username so just type user name and similarly let me just change this into email so just type email and once you do this so we just need to make one button so that button is for going back to the home so for that just go just below this div and just type link so just type link and just type class name so you need to make sure to import this link from react auto dome and just type class name and just type button as usual and just type button hyphen primary so you can just give the color as you wish and just type margin and just type y axis 2 and just type 2 and we just want to go to home and just type back to home so now this should be working so let me just save this application so you can see the back to home has been created so if i just click here so this should navigate us to the home page so similarly if i just click on this view so this should navigate us to the user details page so now we will be writing the code for displaying the name username and email and similarly the user id so for displaying the user details so let me just again go to the vs code and let me just quickly go inside here and let me just create the object so just type const and just type user and set user and we will be using the use state just like for add user and inside here so we just need to initialize so just type name and just type similarly username and also the email so just type email and since we will be getting the specific user with the specific id so for that we will be using the use params so just type const id and just type use params and you need to make sure to import here as well so just type use params inside here and we will be using the use effect hook so just type use effect and inside here let me just create one arrow function inside here and we will be creating one function so just type const and just type load user and just give the async and just make the arrow function here and just type const result so just type result and we will be using the exeus dot gate so just type exeus dot gate and just give the back tick here and just type http localhost 8080 slash user slash dollar and since we have already used the use params so we can just grab the id here so just type id 
and once you do that so we just need to set the user so just type set user so just type result data and inside this use effect so we just need to pass the load user function and we just need to make the empty array inside here so once you do that so now we should be able to get the user information and so just go into this name and inside here so we just need to type something like user dot name so just type user dot name so similarly here just type user dot id and just type user dot name here inside this username so just type user dot username and similarly for email so just type user dot email and now if i just save the application and if i just go inside here so this is saying something like use stated not defined so you need to make sure to import inside this use effect just after this use effect so just type use state so just type use state and once you do that and if i reload the application so you can see the user detail has been already displayed so if i just click on back to home and i just want to display or view this user so just type view on this so you can see the code with Arjun, username and user details of id2 and if i just click on back on home so this should navigate us to the back to home so similarly so if i just click on this full stack application so i just want this to navigate into this home page so for that let me just go into the nav bar so let me just go inside this nav bar and at the top you can see the full stack application so we just need to change this into link so just change this anchor tag into this link so just type link here as well and instead of this href so we just need to type two and just type slash and if i just save the application so if i just go here and if i just click on this full stack application so this is already displaying here and now if i just go on view and click on full stack application so this is navigating us to the home page so this is how you basically create your full stack application so let me just show you the as a whole demonstration of this application so let me just clear or delete this data first and this is the home page and if i just click on this add user and if i just type the name something like code with arjun and let me just type the username something like code with arjun and just type code with arjun at the red gmail.com and if i just click on submit so this would display the data into the home page and if i just click on view so this should display the user details and if i just click on back on back to home so this should navigate again us to the home page and if i just click on edit and let me just change the something like email here into one two three and username into one two three so if i just click on submit so this should update the user as well so this is how the update functionality works and if i just click on delete so this should delete the data as well so congratulations for having the patience to complete this course so if you want to get more exciting tutorials like this be sure to like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next one